Okay, this is going to be a rather awkward video. Um, I just got the simulcast up and running. Uh, the second site's at my house. And uh, from the testing, I had a very, very low power playing around in the overlap. It seems to uh, oh, turn that down. It seems to work very, very well. So I am going to drive around a little bit and uh, we're going to listen to the overlap and uh, hopefully it sounds the way I expect. So, okay, I'm going to I got to put the phone down somewhere. I'm not sure where. Um uh, I don't know if I can do this or not. Anywho, it's going to be a very black video. You're going to get a view of the clock there. So, I'm going to do a uh, punch in the codes to set out a 1k tone on my system and we're going to listen to it as I drive. So. Alright. Leaving my, or beginning to leave my driveway here without trying to hit a tree. Okay. Let's listen. I can pick this up at least. I'm driving down the road. the phase shift in the overlap a little bit. Which I would expect. On a 1K tone, it's a lot more noticeable, but it sounds about the way I would expect. It's never going to be perfect everywhere. But doesn't sound like it's tearing real bad. I can hear it a little bit worse now as I get farther away from it. And I'm getting out of phase with it a little bit. That's about normal for, for for a simulcast overlap area. I'm only doing one watt on a mobile antenna in my upstairs. So that's a little a little grungy there, but not bad. stopped here you can hear it move through the phases the way this is set up the overlap should be you know about uh, normally the default for overlap is uh, you take half the distance between the transmitters so technically right now I'm listening to something out of phase But as that a phase goes, this is a good sign. So, a minute here, I'm going to pull off. And I'm going to do a star 81 quick. So I'm going to pull off right here. And as I'm stopped... You know, I'm not hearing, you know, it fade in and out or move around, which means that the timing and the frequency reference and stuff are all pretty well locked. So hang on, let me, uh, where's my microphone? All right, I got to put this.
this down for a second. I gotta shut it off. I can't see the buttons on the microphone. Okay. Good morning. The time is 12.14 a.m. We're going to drive and listen to this. I'm going to try to hit the button as I'm driving. Good morning. The time is 12.14 a.m. Okay. There's still an overlap. Good morning. The time is 12.14 a.m. Good morning. The time is 0 hours 14 minutes. You can tell how voice... You can tell how voice sounds much different than a straight tone. A straight tone, you really hear um, the uh, the uh, differences in phase, in audio phase. It's really apparent. Um, and I, I've worked for simulcast with, for years, so it's something I'm used to hearing. But when you hear when you hear voice. You know, you could tell that voice was pretty clean, pretty clear, and you could understand everything. And um, without any difficulty, without any tearing. So, uh, let me try that again. Uh, I'm going to actually do this. Good morning. The time is 12. 16 a.m. Turn around because my mobile whip inside my house on 1 watt probably isn't doing very well. I'm probably in, most likely in the capture area of my uh, of my main transmit site right now. So I'm going about a half mile down my one road is where it really got uh, really got you know grungy on a 1k tone. So, um, so we'll get up there. I kind of feel like I'm filming an episode of Cops. So, but uh, I'm gonna just drive my my butt back up to where it was sounding pretty grungy on the 1K tone, and then we're gonna listen to it on voice. And um, you're still gonna hear, you know, it, it being at a phase. A little bit, but it's going to sound, you know, it's not going to be apparent as apparent uh, with voice as it is with a straight tone. So you definitely get uh, it sounds a lot worse with a straight tone. But it this it's so far this proves out my idea with the 9.6 megahertz uh, OCXOs. You know the crystal ovens for the clocking of the RTCMs, um, and uh, I'm uh, I'm very very happy. Oh, oh, my battery in my phone's going low, so I gotta make this a little quick. So uh, let's get back to where I was right before I head up the hill, is and I'll still make my way up the hill. Okay. So we're on the next bend. Okay, let me put the phone down again. And then I'm going to here I'll give you a clock again. Again, I don't know if I can or not. Whatever. So here we are. We're going up there where it sounded the worst. So let's give it a shot. 
Good morning. The time is 12.18 a.m. You can still hear a little bit of the, you know, a little bit of the out of phase, but it wasn't as noticeable. I'll try it again. Good morning. The time is 12.19 a.m. There's no way, no way of getting around that, really. Um, it, you're gonna have that some, it's somewhere, some places, even, even the most perfect system. So, but the key is, is that you, your audio, is intelligible. That's, that's the main key. Is the audio is intelligible? It's not, it's not muddy or tearing. So let's we'll try it one more time. Good morning. The time is 12.19 a.m. There we have it. Uh, it's, uh, it's doing uh, what I expect, and I'm quite happy. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy. You know, I had I had my you know, of course doubts in my mind about the uh, the 9.6 megahertz crystal ovens, but um, you know, it's been a, uh, a good experimentation journey. So now I'm getting up right next to my house. Good morning, KC two IRV twelve dollars a.m. There we go. All right. I'm just pulling up the driveway. So, my very bumpy driveway with all the woods. And uh, that's it. Um, hopefully, uh, I got to do a little more work, but I'll get uh, I'll get everything set at the site and. Uh, Get it installed and uh, do even more testing and more tweaking. Then I can then I can play with some of the uh, transmit simulcast delays and uh, move the uh, move shift the phase around to get um, you know the best sounding signal I can in the overlap. Anyway, KC2 IRV here on uh, this little expedition. Question comments? I welcome them all. Catch you later. 73s.